There are times when the mind is dealt such a blow it hides itself in insanity. There are times when reality is nothing but pain. And to escape that pain, the mind must leave reality behind. Patrick Rothfuss. I'm not going to hold back, and I won't dodge what this video is. This is, more or less, a love letter to Patrick Rothfuss and his prose. My way to say thank you to a man who has enchanted me, brought me to tears on several occasions, and inspired me in both life and in my writing career. Rothfuss writes fantasy novels, works extensively with charity to make the world a better place, and makes up the team of Acquisitions Incorporated, an amazing Dungeons & Dragons serial. Will Anderson once said that there are people in your life who become nodes. They launch you in an irreversible direction. Make sure you tell them how much of a difference they made say thank you. So the reason why I wanted to put this video together is because I wanted to, in some way, give back to an author that I love. Rothfuss has currently published The Name of the Wind and The Wise Man's Fear, as well as a novella and a few other bits of short fiction. His main novels follow the long and fascinating life of Kvoth, sometimes pronounced Koth, Kvoth, or Quoth. It doesn't matter. Kvoth is a deeply flawed, complex character who is manifest by his actions. He's a thoughtless, super-intelligent child in the first novel, who, despite an immense ability to master and use information, makes an ass of himself on a daily basis as he gradually grows up. We experience his life through the lens of Kavoth retelling his story after some large event that's caused him to retire from his life of heroics and adventuring. This is one of the largest narrative drives. We don't know why he's given up. From the crowded streets of Tarbin to the echoed halls of the university, Rothfuss's world is alive. Everywhere we go with Kavoth feels real, with a breathing history. I think this is largely due to Rothfuss's superb prose. Every scene has exquisite legs, every beat feels natural, and at every turn, Rothfuss subverts expectation in gentle, interesting ways that never feel overwrought. His books are filled with well-realized characters and beautiful representations of the one truth that sits throughout his works. In the words of Philip K. Kick, For each person there is a sentence, a series of words, which has the power to destroy them. Rothfuss peels back what it means to be human and what it means to love. We follow his struggles to grow up and come to terms with the world that betrayed him very early on in his life. We're invited to experience a soundly constructed magic system in the form of sympathy, used throughout the books to ask us to consider that all things are linked, and in this world, understanding the link between things is power. I can't speak more highly of Rothfuss and his work. He's a great teacher, author, role model, and muse. If you haven't, please pick up his work if you're interested. I promise you won't regret it. I'll leave you with something from the man himself. Go out in the early days of winter, after the first cold snap of the season. Find a pool of water with a sheet of ice across the top, still fresh and new and clear as glass. Neither sure the ice will hold you. Slide out further, further. Eventually, you'll find a place where the surface just barely bears your weight. There, you will feel what I felt. The ice splinters under your feet. Look down and you can see the white cracks darting through the ice like mad, elaborate spiderwebs. It is perfectly silent, but you can feel the sudden sharp vibrations through the bottoms of your feet. This is what happened when Dennis smiled at me. Thanks for watching guys, if you made it this far, we really appreciate any support you can give, so a like, a favor, a subscribe, or whatever it is that you want to do. Um, but please don't do anything you're not comfortable with. We don't want to ruin, you know, a lot of, I know a lot of people have like systems or whatever. Um, so if any of that is, you know, just leave a comment instead. Um, and let me know what you think of Patrick Rothfuss, his writing. Um, and if you have any favorite authors you think I should check out, because I'm always looking for recommendations. So I'll see you guys next time.